What's up everybody out there in YouTube and Facebook land, it's your boy Rome, I'm out in these streets. It's the day after Thanksgiving and I am out for a ride to see what's going on on my side of town, you just never know. But one thing I know for sure is that it's a Friday and there's a lot of traffic. And as you know, most people are looking for those Black Friday specials and deals and the day after Black Friday deal and the day before <laughs> Cyber Monday deals and Cyber Monday deals so you know if you guys got a little bit of cash saved up and there's something that somehow you've been waiting for and it's on your must have list that's probably going to be one of the best times to pull that trigger yes sir so whether you're looking for some new tech, some clothes, even motorcycle gear, everybody's got a black sale deal going on, I mean a Black Friday deal going on. My phone was blowing up over the last couple of days with advertisements from Amazon, eBay, Google, GoPro, don't get me started on GoPro. But GoPro, all of these different um, people trying to compete for your dollars, your hard-earned cash, man. Now, what I tell people every year, Black Friday is really, I know there's probably some specials and you could say, oh, my cousin got this, you know, 70-inch, you know, big screen TV for you know, $300 or whatever it is regularly, $700, $800, $1,000, whatever. But in reality, what you're buying is last year's tech. Sometimes you're buying tech that's even two years old. It's just still around, man, still around. So they can lower that price. You know, I even saw on uh, Revzilla, you know, they had some good deals going on the surface. Then you have to ask yourself, on Black Friday, you're going to drop it 50%, 75%? Wow, how much is that markup? <laughs> yeah, that's what you got to think about. How much were the other people who didn't wait for Black Friday or one of these special deals get screwed when they made those purchases? But you know... A lot of times, man, you know, we're impulse buyers. I'm that way. Sometimes. But most of the time, I do my research. Man, I will literally look at 50 different YouTube videos and reviews on a product. If it's a high enough, you know, dollar item. I mean, you know, if I'm just buying some little $20, $50, $100 item, I'm not that concerned. I just want it to work for the time I expect it to be able to work but you know that's just the way that is but you know if it's a big item if I was looking at a bike or you know looking to do some you know heavy upgrades on my car my truck or something like that or something for around the house or you know even more so you know things that I look for like for my studio yeah I'm gonna do that research man I got to got to got to got to I want to make those dollars go as far as they possibly can. Oh, let's see what we got over here. So, it is Thanksgiving day after. And you know, I saw a couple of guys posted some videos earlier. And one of the things that they asked was, you know, what are you thankful for? You know, in my situation... I'm thankful for so much. You know, I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for, you know, the people that are in my world. You know, they go out of their way, you know, to help me uh, achieve my goals. So when I look at life, I think about it from that perspective. You know, what can I do for others? Because so much, so much has been done for me. So any opportunity, man, and ladies, I get 
to help somebody else I just can't I can't resist it I have to do it <clears throat> okay I know that pipe is hot so I better not let that get on there Ooh wee that'll be nasty put my little cargo net away Yep. But like I said, I'm thankful for a lot. And with that in mind, I try to do as much as I can to help others. What's up, brother? How you feeling? You're trying to get through? All right, well, I want to wanna sit up for a second. I got a, a couple of items I want to give to you. Yes, sir. Hopefully that'll help you out a little bit. Thank you, Man, you know, like I said, you know, I hope you had a pretty decent Thanksgiving if not I just want to bring you know stop by for a minute yeah yeah I just want to stop by and drop off something to you so I hope you have a good day all right my man you take care of yourself okay all right <clears throat> so many people in need so many people so all we can do is what little bit we can do and hopefully others will be inspired you know to do the same and it's a win you know we have uh, another organization here that I'm really impressed with it's I am waters and one of the things that they do basically well I think one of the major things they do is that they provide bottled water to the homeless and you know you may not think you know in a a city or a country where you would say water is pretty easy to acquire that would be such a big deal but what they also do on their bottles that I've always admired is they put these little phrases on there like love hope peace you know things like that and you know when you're out on these streets and your world you know in many situations feel like it's come to an end or there's no one there looking out for you no one there that cares about you you know somebody stopping by to say you know here's something from my heart you know I put together for you because you do matter yes that's that's tremendous so I commend them for what they do, you know, in Houston, in Texas, and you know, when I'm hearing, you know, they have operations like this that are going on all over the country. So guys, if you know, in your state or city, you know, if you Google them or you look them up on Instagram or find them on Facebook, you know, like their page, you know, do what you can. If you can contribute something to them, please do it because they are doing good work and a lot of people are benefiting from it and like I said you know when I find organizations like this I have to you know give them a shout out because it is amazing work that they're doing and there are so many so so many people that are still in need you know we just went through Hurricane Harvey and you know people in many cases are still recovering from that but most of the homeless were homeless long before Harvey you know Harvey didn't have any effect on their situation Ooh -wee. so again guys you know if you're thankful and you've been blessed take a little bit of time out of your day out of your week whatever it is ladies and give something back you know, one thing that I've always admired about the motorcycle community is that they come together and they do whatever they can, whether it's toy drives, whether it's school drives, whether it's, you know, what they can do for individuals in need. They go out of their way to try and make these things happen. And if you're part of that community and, you know, you're not yet in, you know, in motion or you haven't found your little group or your crew or clique, to work with man just look around you know google check your area i guarantee you there's clubs and organizations that are already out there doing these things and any help that you can give them will be greatly appreciated and most of all <laughs> 
you find some cool people to ride with, man. You can get out on your thing, your beast, your cruiser, your uh, sport bike, your dual sport, whatever it is you got. You know what I'm saying? You get out there and help out and do your thing. Do one of the things that we enjoy the most, one of the things we're most passionate about, and that's hitting these streets. And at the same time, man, you out there doing some good. All right, everybody, this is your boy, Rome. It is the day after Thanksgiving. I'm in these streets, just kind of riding around, seeing what's popping, enjoying this nice, cool weather. And now, I'm on to the next spot. But for you guys, I will catch you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Until then, peace. I'm out.